right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Kaya from the GMS Louisiana Saints coming back at you with another quick round of talk and round the camp. Prior to getting started, as I always do, I'd like to give infinite and honors and prayers to Yahweh by Shim Yahushai, by Shim Kabadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the eyewitnesses pushing the truth and sincerity. We all willing this video be edifying for us and foremost to the hopefully that, then to those that cleave to the body. And uh, just to get straight to the point, okay, you know, through the spirit. All right, you know, this year, you know, have been coined the year that our Lord and our power, our great power and great king, all right, turn up. So you can liken this year into man's loins constantly shaking, man. All right, the Lord is about to, uh, the Lord is about to execute, all right, a, 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 a shaking, or a, you know, a changing of the gods, all right, a, 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 you know, shaking up the earth out of its course, out of its place, all right? The world and the earth going to be exceedingly moved on several levels, all right? Physically, spiritually, mentally, all right? This is when the Lord, you know, Abba Ratha Zah, the Lord is about to shake things up. Not as if he haven't been already doing that, all right? But it's about to get on a level to where it's about to be evident, all right, that the Lord is rough and on um, his work in the earth. You know, David speak about it. It's time for the Lord, oh, Dial to work. All right. So the Lord is going to be in the midst of turning up. Now let's get into what turning up is, according to the Lord, man. Because you know Jay got his um his saying, you know, a little metaphors they use. Right. I'm about to turn up. So that's when Jake get completely out of the regular element which he was, and he also in a way become abnormal to um no normality. All right. All right, meaning he's about to get in a state to where, you know, Jake turning up is, all right, I'm about to, you know, pretty much change the state from where I'm at until, until something else. All right, so again, it's about to be a changing of the way we view things. All right, the way we see things. All right, the way we act to things, the things we was accustomed to. All right, changes are about to get made. Drastic changes and measures is about to come before us, man. And you can see the man dates as we went into... All right, and the, uh, and the um, eve of destruction last night about the mandates that they are, you know, they about to implement, man. It's him. All right? There's no looking back concerning the kingdom and what's going on, man. All right? The Lord is obviously, the Lord indignation, which is his righteous judgment, is about to be c clearly evident. All right? There ain't going to be no other way to view it or see it all right, understanding that we're about to see things through judgment. That's a whole nother thing because the Lord been speaking. He's been talking. All right. So now judgment is what about to replace the talking and the speaking, man, which is goes into action. You know, which we know our Lord is a, a God of action. This Psalm 69 and 24, it says, pour out thine indignation upon them. Well, I'm going to read 23. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. You see? All right? Meaning what? Keep the dread of fear upon the men. Okay? Especially those men who are not signed to cry for the abomination that be done in the midst of in this, in this world, man. You got to understand, every new year is a closer day to the dead evil. All right? You're getting closer and closer if you don't have the spirit or the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the midst of you that mark at the Y. All right. You're getting closer and closer to your debt. All right. Debt is about to seize upon you, man. So Jake don't understand that. Though yet Jake trying to live in his pursuit of living. All right. His end point is debt. So Jake, you're living to die and you're dying to live. It says, pour out thy indignation upon them and let thy wrath, wrathful anger take hold of them. Jake ain't really get a whiff of the Lord wrathful anger, man. That's why he uh, solidified and set apart a day for a day, the day of evil, man. All right? This ain't really an ill, bad time. All right? Now, this is, you know, this is a build up to things, but we get it, man. It says, let their habitation be desolate. All right? So the things where Jake you know, uh, places, Jake dwelling places, you know, the things that Jake partaking from, you know, festivities to entertainment, 
or uh, you know wherever his habitation your habitation is you know it's more like where your mental mindset is towards man all right the things that you put your hand to do or that you take pleasure in as well all right we know it's a man dwelling it says and let none dwell in their tents jake is about to be rooted up out of houses man all right the lord say he gonna throw the earth around like a a mean cottage if you know what a cottage is that's a small little shack all right the lord gonna toss the earth up and down man okay out of his place you know even jerusalem you know he gonna start at our sanctuary as the you know the elder begat was speaking about okay and uh you know ap after the uh evil destruction and through it man the lord gonna start at his, at his sanctuary all right the lord it says that the lord gonna wipe and toast uh jacob like dishes you know how you washing white dishes you washing and you flipping and you turning it all right, I believe that I, I, I believe in the book of Jeremiah. I haven't went to it in a while. All right, but the law about the white, white, uh, Jay clean, man. Let me kind of get that right. I'll come back to that Psalm 69. On white, white Jake like dishes, man. So that's what he's gonna do to the world, though. You know how you flip dishes up and down and around and around? All right. Yup. This 2 Kings 21 and 13. And I will stretch over Jerusalem the line of Samaria and the plummet of the house of Ahab. And I will wipe Jerusalem as a man wiping a dish, wiping it and turning it upside down. You see? So the Lord intend on his indignation taking a hold of them, man. And he having his way with them. You know? It's, I'm going to jump to 27. Add iniquity unto their iniquity. And that's the plan of the intentions of the Lord. He's about to add iniquity to a man iniquity, which means what? Okay, when iniquity is, is uh, so high up or driven for it, it brings forth debt. So the Lord going to even add the iniquity, saying Jake loved to dwell in iniquity. All right? And they love to have it so. It's like, yeah, it started raining. All right, so yeah, man, it says, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Cause listen, the Lord's hand is still stretched out to disobedient and gainsaying people, but though yet they don't want to come. All right, the time is time is of an essence, literally, man. All right, so if you're not hawking in and trying to get right and repenting, you know the, that door, that mercy might be out of here for you, man. All right, it says, okay, since so saying that the Lord is, you know hand is still stretched out and you don't want at here take heed it says don't let them come into thy righteousness meaning what write them off it says let them be blotted out of the book of the living and and not be written with the righteous and that's it the lord is making a separation by turning up the lord is making a separation between uh, those who have the mark of the uh, of the why which goes into the um, ezekiel 9 and and, and and 4 on down all right and to those who have that mark of karagma which you know, goes into Revelation 13 and ultimately in 14, whoever get it gonna be destroyed, man. And that's it. All right, that's the end game. The Lord is tired of fucking around with Jake. All right, not in a way the Lord don't fuck around. Let me choose my words carefully. All right, but the, it's gonna come to a point at a time when the Lord stop talking. It's all business. It's action from them. All right. I had bought this out last night, and I won't bring it out, man, because this this scripture kind of stuck with me, man. All right, this is Job 10 and 17. It says, Thou renewest thy witness against me. All right, and the Lord witnesses against you, Jake. All right, for righteousness or for, or for wickedness sake is the angels, man. All right, so the Lord renews thy witnesses against me. What meaning what he's constantly jotting down my doings? Is you working and walking in righteousness? Are you walking in wickedness? Right, and increasing thy indignation upon me, changes and war are against me. Because see the Lord gonna turn up, all right? And it's either look at you on the opposite, you on the wrong side of that wall, or you on the winning side, man. All right, but the wall fell is gonna be for everybody. All right, everybody gonna have to get in that wall, man. But his men gonna be protected nonetheless. All right, <clears throat> and the Lord gonna be sending evil angels among in the world, man. When the Lord turned up, He have created angel, uh, angels to bring forth the vengeance which He is in His heart, man. All right. They have been created to get busy in the earth. 
All right, the law about to let the angels loose. The four winds that's being held back, which represent the destruction and on uh, revelation, the Lord is about to let the winds go. Once the men are sealed in their forehead. So if the Lord turn up, then that means his men got to be sealed, man. You see? For a particular salon, you bet with me. This Sirach 36 and 7, it says, raise up indignation, all right, and pour out wrath, take away the adversary, and destroy the enemy, man. That's turning up, all right? You about to see God in God mode, all right, as we always have seen him, but he's really about to turn up, man. He about to get in God mode. The almighty powerful Allah Shaja, man. That terror demon-like power is about to be witnessed from the eyes, man. All right, the whole earth about to witness it. You see? This is on Sirach 5 and 6. <clears throat> and say now his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation rested upon sinners. So the Lord's indignation is upon the sinners of the earth, man. All right? The Lord is pissed off with the entire world. So guess what he about to do? He's about to execute judgment unto the entire world, man. So get on the right side of the spectrum, man, or be taken. Or be taken. Or be taken by uh, all the Lord things the Lord have set up for judgment according to the scriptures, man. All right? And that they're evil. So Abba Ratazai made it to the um, destination with the brew. So Abba Ratazai, this was edifying, man. Until the next time, I'm going to see Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, um, Baraka Thumb, Yahweh Shah to you brothers, man. Okay? Stay locked in. All right? The, 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 the year of turning up. You brothers stay locked in, man. And don't allow the Lord to turn you out. Okay? Stay down according to righteousness, man, that the Lord may put a shadow over you, man. For when he turned up, it 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 uh go by you. So Abba Rathazali was out of fine, man. Till next time we see Shalom.